in this file for the parts we're almost ready to run the perfect layout plugin but before we do that there are a few more steps so this core has um, flute 2 and piccolo uh, on one um, I guess one performer one player so we need to make one part for those two instruments and the same thing is about uh, the second bassoon and contra bassoon so let's make this adjustment before we run the, the plugin so manage parts okay new part I'm gonna call it root 2 piccolo gonna put this here for now um, all right and now let's let's bring the instruments that we want in this group and this is about good okay so so we can see you can see this this is how it looks at the moment I'm gonna leave it like that uh, okay, I can I see there is still some trouble with the with uh, the staves. Interesting. Let's check that out one more time. I thought we we fixed this, so let's check it. So. the wrong button here it is so how about I just run the whole thing with um, um, let me do just the parts let's see if that will fix it so I think it did. Yep, that's good. Okay. And the same thing let's do for let's create a group part for the bassoon two and contra bassoon. part okay there is a few things we can do about uh, these parts I mean the but I'll, I'm going to do that in the next step I think that's fine after after I run the plugin now if we go back to the score and this is the third movement so you, you may want to have the name of the part in the beginning of each movement or or not in the first movement it definitely should have the name of the, the part so uh, but I'm gonna do that for all three movements and I'm gonna insert all right let's insert this thing here and let's check the size as well yeah I think this is the size that I I like so So what I want is, just want to see where this is positioned in the part. Yeah. Yep. 
guess this is about about okay. This is fine. Should be should be fine. So okay. All right. So I think this is a few more things we need to do. Um, I'm gonna save it. Uh, yeah, just save it just in case. Now, I think we already we already uh, did um, out the spacing, but we can do that again. Doesn't hurt, so I would I would try that. So music spacing. Okay, this is again. This is just the file for the parts, so I'm not concerned about you know how it looks in the score. I'm concerned about the uh, the results in the parts. I'm gonna check every, everything here. Uh, doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to select here the option remove system locks because uh, in the parts as you could see there were locks there were a lot of um, we can see the results from the previous run on the plugin in the in the same file when it uh, it was for another uh, another version of this piece for an, uh, other instrumentation so uh, I just want to clean this everything up uh, all of those locks so that uh, the perfect layout plugin could work its way the best so okay and now I guess we can save it one more time we're ready let's, uh, let's try it ah forgot one step an, an important step okay one second let's see uh, yeah so this this step is about the Q notes we have to place all this the Q notes in the category in the correct category for the uh, for the for, for perfect layout to be able to to fix it so let's see if we can add let's let's add the category so one second uh, important thing is to put this uh, to put the Q in in the name uh, of this category so actually maybe I didn't copy the right uh, you know the, the correct uh, maybe maybe it would be better to do something else but that's that's okay so let's see uh, yeah times new Roman let's just uh, let's just do that
just in case. else I guess is fine okay. all right and we will we, we will uh, move all this have to kind of fix this strings So let's move all of this. Let's fix that as well, just in case. All of this uh, Q note text to to the category here. Yes. Very good. Let's check it again. Yep. It's all good. Not sure what this is. Okay. okay. Again, this was a very old file, so some artifacts from the previous finale versions. Um, okay. So I think we're good about this step. All right, and I think now, now we are ready. Where is it, right here, plugins. Not right now, yes. So I think the plugin started and it's working a little bit. Um, starts started to work. Interesting to see the results. I will probably have to run this uh, the plugin twice. Uh, one time with that setting to. Uh, to remove all the uh, the previous page breaks and locks and everything and the other time with that setting uh, I noticed that that sometimes could could uh, improve the results on the parts yes yes I think the plugin starts its curse now. Uh, it, it's going on its curse. So um, let's see. Yes, the queue. Yeah, we did move it. Yes, we did. Okay, now. Here, I think I already mentioned, I unselected, deselected the uh, few options here, the rest and the tablets. Um, I, I actually, this, this was mostly for the, the solo part in the score, but I don't really need uh, the program to change anything about the rests. And then this was the tablets also. I don't think I need any changes in that, uh, on that setting. And also, there are a few factory settings, and I think I, I, I did choose the loose spacing, and then I saved uh, this template with uh, these options. So uh, I did don't think I made any other changes to the the options here for, for this 
for the plugin. Okay. All right. So it kind of detects the expression markings from the old finale file and you know tries to move them to the right place so it's a good thing all right i think let's see how fast how long it will take to to do this score This is a pretty fast computer I have. Um, so, uh, but it does take take a little time. still much faster to run it with uh, you know run everything if you noticed there were two choices you could run it just in the parts or you could run it like the you know the uh, the default uh, um, option the first one there so I noticed that if you run it with just the parts it's much much longer because it basically uh, starts the plugin has to start anew for each part. Uh, unfortunately, at this moment, you cannot run this plugin. As far as I know, you cannot run it uh, on all parts except except some parts. Like for example, uh, this is a concerto, so uh, I did extensive editing on the solo part, and I didn't want any changes there. So I was I did want to see if it's possible to just have everything run it for the score but without ignoring the, the so I mean with ignoring the soloist part and um, I also asked this question in the forum uh, for the for, for the perfect layout plugin and um, this option wasn't is not yet possible um, what it what is possible is to run uh, this the, the plugin only on the parts, not on the score, and also to run the plugin in specific sections um, for specific instruments. So that you just just have to select you know the spots and and that is a spot. I haven't tried that, but that's that's also a possibility. Um, I would like to show you while while we wait uh, the. The manual for uh, for perfect layout. Uh, it's, it's I think it's fantastic, uh, fantastic place to start and learn a lot, a um, lot of information about uh, the plugin. Uh, beautifully written and uh, uh, extremely informative to to go through this and as I said I think in the previous video you can learn a lot of things about Finale as well you know some of the options um, that could improve you the way you you function in uh, in that program so uh, it's a very extensive uh, very extensive plugin um, so if I have a question I usually like search for that specific thing, and uh, you know, it takes me straight to to that information. Yes. Now, in the file that we're gonna get, the it will not be perfect, obviously, and there will be some things that will need to be changed. Um, sometimes um, I don't quite like the way it. Uh, arranges things on the page now, now we're gonna look at that um, um, for example the Q notes sometimes uh, you know the 
whole note rest where, where we have the Q notes uh, sometime could uh, interfere the rest could interfere with the notes but uh, in the Q part yes so uh, that thing is easily fixed but uh, you know the program cannot uh, at, at the moment cannot really uh, automatically um, position position the whole note rests uh, when you have the cues uh, in that register so but that's easily fixed uh, yes and you know there are other smaller details which actually will be will be um, easy to see when, when we take a look at uh, each part now um, the way you know the process of of making parts well, while we wait I'm think trying to think of ways to entertain you so uh, why while um, so uh, after all the parts are ready let's say the three movements everything is yeah is ready um, then I will um, I'm going to try to uh, make PDFs for each uh, each movement for each part and then I will merge the PDFs and then uh, in in uh, Ad Ad Adobe Acrobat, you know that program for the PDF files, I uh, insert the pages after merging uh, the parts. I guess all, all, all the movements in in in, um, in the, that specific part. I'm going to put the pages. So this this uh, this is the last uh, you know, the last task. You know. I have to do before the parts are, are um, ready is to put the pages so okay let's see what we have here so all right I think it changed it changed it says that uh, the program changed um, settings to maintain system locks okay very good um, yes okay now it does give us a detailed information about uh, what just happened and if there is any thing we may, may consider looking at you know to see if uh, things okay all right so but I I prefer to see actually the results so um, let's see all right, so but we're gonna start with with the first part. Let's start with the the foot one and see what the, what we have the results. to the next part with uh, with uh, the click here um, on the stream deck but um, this is the part that had I guess two instruments on it we can see uh, I'm gonna put like uh, specific names uh, um, uh, let's see let, let's actually do that right now that doesn't hurt so stuff naming parts okay very good all right so all right then what I uh, what I usually do is I'm gonna rename this to just one letter P and then sorry I should be here and 
then also here f f okay and now we have the number that's what we don't need this so okay Ah, all right. I can just grab this. But actually, I want to see this is right here. I can just grab these two and drag them a little bit. This is probably good. something like this that way it's, it's clear who is playing piccolo or the flute yes and then in these parts we and I should kind of look again to see if uh, if we have a uh, you know the text such as this um, muta in piccolo or muta in flute uh, I'm gonna check again to see if all this is is present just as a courtesy information for the player I think so it's, so having the F and P is very very good but sometimes we just just extra being uh, being uh, a bit more attentive to this sometimes uh, could help all right so this was the first run of the plugin and maybe we don't actually need another one but um, let's continue let's see what happens uh, in the other parts so just to take a look at uh, how the result yes this is basically it's very good very good uh, now sometimes like I don't really like having so much space so I probably will address it um, that kind of stuff so okay So when the plugin can find a rest or something, it will do so before the next uh, before the the next entry, the instrument, the the you know the last uh, bar on the page. It will try to have a rest there or something like that. Uh, let's check. Yeah this is pretty good even from the very first try so let's see let's see one of those string parts good in many ways so okay all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna say this it's the first round yes first round Now, 
uh, I'm gonna save it. Let's let's do this. Save it as a B, another one here, so we can easily find this later. Um, okay, what about if I? I just want to see one more time the flute and how it looks. I uh, also forgot to to check this part and I think we need to do the same the same operation okay let's fuse this way Again, the number. Yes. There's one more thing we need to do here is add a bracket. So I guess, I guess this is good. Let's take a look how. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. So, okay, we're gonna check some of those moments like this. Obviously, is not a good choice in that part. And also, what I do, uh, I also this kind of places. I drag this a little bit. Let's see if I can do this again. Wait. How about I do it individually then? doesn't look bad okay but we, we will fix we will fix a few things so right now let me save this and we're gonna run uh, the perfect layout plugin again and we'll see if it uh, changes if it will change anything uh, maybe I will compare the second run to the first run and then we will see ah we have something interesting here now I'm not sure why why we're still having this these problems with uh, with the staves I think I did it already a few times um, I think I did clear the stuff style. Let me clear them now from, okay, well, let's set the, set the parts again. Let's see. Looks like uh, this bar, there's something wrong with this bar. Let's take a look, it needs to say it needs, to, it needs to say 33 yeah this I'm sure why let's see let's check that so this is this bar right here right
yes so I just checked a little bit I'm, I'm not sure why this bar w the program didn't catch um, this rest didn't connect it to the to this, the group rest here because in other other instruments I think it did do so for example the flute right here yes so uh, in other parts yeah here this part it didn't so I'll have to check on that let's run it uh, here it did do so yes so in many parts it did catch that rest so let's see if the second run um, if the second run on the on this file for the parts will will help the situation so I'm just gonna save it again save and this time I'm gonna keep this setting in paint system logs okay and let's try it again Okay, so for it's the process going to be the same. So I'm just going to put a pause on the video. I'm going to restart when this is uh, completed. The second run was like 10 seconds. Only took about 10-15 seconds. It was very quick. Uh, so so that's interesting. Interesting. Uh, it did did go very very fast okay so let's see if there are changes between the first and the second run I'm just gonna save this second run So here, I, I this is the first round. This is the second round, and let's let's see if we can if we can uh, compare these two. So see if there are any changes. There might be changes or not, but let's see. Second page. Yeah, I don't see any changes. Yep. It looks. This one looks uh, identical, I guess. Okay, how about if we. We look at this one. See. Okay. So I think again the problem is it didn't catch that rest, extra rest here. So um, we might have to do it manually. Okay. So. see any differences here so it's all the same let's try one more part how about violin one Does 
look the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So from what I'm seeing uh, for this piece, for this movement, uh, I'm not seeing any changes between the first and the second run. But I've tried the, this plugin in other uh, movements, in other situations, and I, I was seeing some differences between the runs. So uh, that's good. That's good. So this is, I guess, the best of what uh, the plugin can uh, can give us. So uh, so let's work with that. What we have. So okay now just to organize this a little bit I'm gonna move this I probably can delete it but it's gonna move this here so that it doesn't uh, stay in the way okay I guess the next yeah, well now we have to, for Basun 1, we have to write the names here as well. So let's do that. Fruit 1. And same thing for the Basun. So in this next part, we will move, um, we'll try to uh, polish the parts and see what needs to be fixed, if anything needs to be fixed. So, and this part usually takes the longest time, uh, this kind of the polishing thing, so, all right. So here, this is the rest are okay. Uh, in this case, I would probably raise a little bit this. So just just a little bit. So yeah, it's all it's all very nice, I should say, and beautiful. This beautiful work on the part of the plugin. Now sometimes. Like a place like this I would like it to start from the, the next line uh, let's see if we can do that yeah now if you noticed uh, I mentioned about that I have uh, two sets of tempo marks and alterations, one for the scores and one for the parts. Uh, one is displayed in the score, another one in the parts. So, uh, and those, those do not, uh, I mean, uh, let's see if this piece has any of those places. I think this movement doesn't have, uh, doesn't have many tempo changes. So, but sometimes uh, the tempo alteration could um, interfere with the tempo change. So we have to. Uh, so the, the thing that I mentioned, I guess, in the first video, really, really helps in this situation. So uh, setting the tempo alterations in the parts uh, to start from the beginning of the bar in the score. You can do it anywhere, anywhere you want. Okay. So. 
all good stuff. I'm gonna raise this a little bit. Now, so far I like I guess the white space. I don't like the white space on this page that much. So, and I don't like that we don't have a rest uh, at the end of this page. So I can like to have rests if possible at the end at the end of each each page. So. Again, this is the option, we could just leave it the way it is, or I'm going to, let's see if I can move, I can move this, uh, this uh, few notes here, let's see if that could work. So, the program, the, the plugin um, automatically inserts page break so uh, it's going to remove the page break and let's try to move this up uh, interesting if I just move this one interesting that it does move it usually only moves the uh, the measure there without changing anything here so I'm not quite sure what's happening okay so I figured this out it's very simple um, I'm in the wrong I was I was in the staff tool. Yes, we have to be careful. Um, selection tool. Yes, selection tool will uh, moves only this uh, the bars without changing anything else. So now, how about? about if I leave this uh, this page uh, I'm just gonna move this system to the next page um, I think that that would be good okay um, so we will have this rest that will be fine yes I kind of like Visually, uh, I guess in this texture, we will probably need a few, at least a bar on this line. But this is fine. It's fine. We can drag this rest, make it larger. This rest, but it's fine as it looks. Um, okay. So the idea is before I before I move it to this page, let's see if I can quickly uh, now bring this these lines, uh, the, the systems closer to each other. So before moving this line, this page, I'd like to bring this uh, the systems closer to one another. So there are a few ways uh, to do that. Of course, you can drag everything, but uh, I guess quicker more optimal choice would be we have I found three, three spots that can do this thing so three 
options. One option is space system, even though they, everybody knows about this one. So uh, uh, it will just make, uh, I guess, if you run this on this page, it will not do much because they are already are spaced evenly. So that option doesn't work for this. Uh, but this is an option for arranging systems. Um, there are two other uh, ways to do this space systems and then vertical collision remo remover. So uh, I have all three of these options. Um, I have all three options on the my stream deck, you know, this, this, and this. So, uh, so I use that depending on the situation. So, um, and there is always uh, also the option of uh, selecting the systems and uh, remove manual adjustments. Uh, you know, this is also useful sometimes for uh, those who run the uh, perfect layout plugin because the plugin has has the usually does change the uh, dimensions here on the systems so for example it, it's very flexible so if you would space this type of thing it will not work um, evenly like if you space this evenly this wouldn't be a good choice so before you would do that you'd have to erase the manual adjustments that the plugin makes so um, so the dimensions of the systems are uh, different the plugin has uh, is doing something to those so but in this case I think let's use um, let's start with with this option and just gonna all right so before we do this I just want to see again we are 17 to 23 systems okay good so 17 to 23 and let's leave it uh, the way it is now let's see what happens okay so this looks a little tight from for my taste so let's try it one more time same thing let's check this out I think this is better uh, this is better right so okay so what I want now now sometimes this is much faster sometimes it's not so uh, I want to bring this system okay here it is I don't necessarily want any changes on this system. That's okay. All right. How about this? Okay, so here it is. We got everything on this. Uh, on this page this one will go away hopefully um, let's see and let's try let's try to space this spacing this evenly wouldn't really work very very well I think but let's try Let's see what happens if we remove uh, manual adjustments. Okay, so everything is back to the default dimensions. And then we'll just use the 
space system evenly. That didn't work very well. Okay, how about this way? Let's try it again. Now this doesn't look bad. I think uh, it looks okay. Um, it's even. All right, so we, we first have to see what we can do about this. And maybe, uh, maybe I would want it to be lower though. This. So we may need some manual adjustments here and there, but that's, that's okay. All right, so how about, what can I do about this one here? This is okay. We need to move this. So we destroying a little bit what we had. The arrangement with the, the plugin made. All these adjustments. They they you know you know because of that we have to sort of carefully look at and this is not bad this is actually this is not bad All right but because we did change a few things we have to drag a few things around This is pretty good. Yeah. So the real changes that we made were only in the parts in which we did change. Um, we did change the placement of things after the plugin. So, uh, yeah. All right, so, so there is more of this happening. Uh, I guess I'm gonna stop this video, but uh, this this is the longest uh, procedure when making parts, is just checking and uh, fine tuning things to, to see if we're, we're happy with everything in the parts after the plugin, but the plugin does, Let's save a lot of time, I think. Um, okay.